Well, welcome to Send a Rope TV. My name's Kurt. Uh, so President Obama, Mr. Obama, we're all kind of sick of you going around and apologizing for what a horrible nation we are. We're so bad for all the things we've done. But it's good to see that you can suck up and, uh, and uh, also help to recognize that the Nazis were people too. Nothing like a good liberal to bring out the victim mentality in everybody. Well, that's got to really tick a lot of people off, um, especially uh, around the history of, of D-Day. Yeah, that's just wonderful. You know, the pendulum is, is completely swung the other way. With George Bush, we had no apologies for anything. Um, and with Obama, we have apologies for everything, stuff we're not even responsible for, stuff we have nothing to do with. And he's sucking up to Europe, saying it's really important, I'm paraphrasing, really important that uh, we, we uh, recognize Europe's influence in the world and blah, blah, blah. Well, do you know why we haven't recognized Europe's influence in the world? It's because for, oh, I don't know, 5,000 years, Europe and uh, Asia, the Middle East, screwed the world up. For 5,000 years, it was war after war, conquest after conquest, and World War I, World War II, and maybe, just maybe, we got a little fed up with you guys being in charge because you suck at controlling the world. But then a bunch of your people inf started inf infiltrating our government and getting involved and meddling with things different organizations, donating money to our politicians, the puppet masters pulling the strings, and now we have uh, the same thing here. So I don't know what he's talking about. You, we're not recognizing your influence because uh, there's plenty of it in, in our government today. We can see it everywhere we go. All the same conquest, all the same uh, stupid reasons uh, for war, and uh, every other issue you can think of. Now, I'm not a pacifist by any means. I believe if we're attacked, we have every right to defend ourselves if we're attacked. Now, allowing an attack to occur is not getting attacked. You might as well be, you might as well just drop the bombs on yourself. If, you're allow, if you allow it, uh, someone else to drop them, it'd just be so much easier. So, um, that's where we're at right now. We don't have any, any kind of middle ground. The pendulum has swung back the other way. Fascism, communism, or maybe a little bit of communism and it swings back every, every time it needs a piece of that fascism. But these retards running this country don't read the legislation that gets put before them. And, and here, here we are. I am fed up with the celebrity that is Obama. I'm fed up with it. I can't stand looking at that man. It's like looking at, honestly, and I'm not comparing the man to Adolf Hitler, but it's as if Adolf Hitler was giving a speech, or Joseph Stalin, or Lenin, or Mussolini. And I, I, I'm sick and tired of, of the, um, the celebrity status that this man has because he's not doing anything positive with it. He's going around doing the, uh, the Muslim holy prayer, the Muslim call to prayer in perfect Arabic from what I hear, yet mysteriously I can't find the audio for this anywhere. I can't find the video for this. In our culture, in the, I don't know what that means, but there's just something very strange about that. So Obama, do us all a favor. Shut up. Shut your mouth. Keep your mouth closed. Because those of us that love America, that think this is a great nation, and I'm not talking about our government, you, Mr. Obama, are not what makes America great. We are. We the people are what make this country great, not you. We the people are what make the economy strong, not you up in the government in Washington, D.C., and on Wall Street, screwing things up. And I guess Detroit now. Hey, thanks, Mr. Obama. I'm really glad that you worked so hard to build, uh, to, to make sure that Chrysler didn't fall apart. You took a really sucky company, and you made it even suckier by having the government help to run it. 
Oh, and, and my favorite, merging it with Fiat, a crappy car company. So let's see, a sucky car company, crappy car company, and somewhere in the world of, of, uh, of, of um, mystery, is that going to make any sense at all?